think we've got it. Hey, okay. <laughs> Good afternoon. A um, little bit earlier than usual because it's going to be dark at five and I want to get started earlier. Welcome to my daily chat. Um, this is episode number 570. And the topic today is your relationship should not be a fixer upper. And I'll break into that shortly. So before I do that, let me introduce myself. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. I help strong, successful women attract, create, and find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And every day around this time, usually 5 p.m., but today a little bit earlier, I do these talks called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. And today is, number five, is episode number 570. So I've done these for quite a long time now. And again, the topic today is your relationship should not be a fixer-upper. Or your relationship partner should not be a fixer-upper. So let me break it down. And this is, generally speaking, what women do to and with men, or it does work the other way around, but it's generally speaking women attracting men who are basically fixer-uppers in a simple way, which means that women take on projects with some men they date. They take on relationships that the partner they choose may look the part, may have all the accessories, like I was about yesterday, no, Friday about gift wraps, two days ago, about relationships like gift wrap versus content. The second part is, in this context, is relationships are often based upon appearance, and then when you start dealing with all their baggage, which is a whole other conversation, or excuse me, a whole other conversation, a whole other, or other conversation, then there's a distinct recognition that for many um, relationships, that baggage is absolutely. <laughs> you you don't you you, um, you don't take it on. To be simple. Many people are not mature in their relationship skills because they're not mature in their own lives, being independent, loving themselves, honoring who they are. So when they get to the point where they're in a relationship, they tend to bring a lot of childish type behavior, not childhood, childish type behavior to the table. You know, childhood baggage is another story entirely. But this piece is key because when you choose relationships, you want somebody who actually is owning their life in a way that is healthy. And I don't mean necessarily career success because I'm talking about more emotional maturity. Many people, and again, generally speaking, it's more men than women do this, are not particularly emotionally savvy how to handle emotions both in themselves and from women. Women, generally speaking, are more facile with their emotions because women are generally emotionally based. And I'm being very general about this. To be clear, I'm not saying all, but generally speaking. So when it comes to relationships, women tend to be more emotionally I would say balanced in a way because they at least understand them and have experienced them, whereas most men haven't, <laughs> to put it bluntly. So the fixer-upper ten mindset I'm talking about is where a woman takes on a relationship with a man where even though he may be a couple of years older than her, maybe 10 years older than her, he is not anywhere near as intelligent, no, um, emotionally intelligent. Actually, I think you call it EQ. Not IQ, but EQ. So emotional quotient. And that, to me, is a massive difference because... I would suggest that unless you want to be a parent again, if you're already a parent with kids, you don't want to be having a fixer-upper for a relationship because when you are having a partner who's a fixer-upper, you're basically reparenting them. And that is really not what you want. And by the way, if you need the background noise, I'm at a holiday party and I decided to cut out to do this talk once it's still light on the back step before I go back in and have some fun because I want to get it done to my commitment to my audience, to myself and to you to share some insight, inspiration and a Facebook Live every day. So that's why I need today. So, to put this in a simpler term, for oftentimes relationships are absolutely amazing, authentic, rich, deep, exploring, growing, and everything else. But for that to happen, both partners need to be mature enough to be able to do the work. Now, this is the thing I said there mature enough to do the work, meaning that mature does not mean you've done the work. Because there's always work to do. There's always growth. There's always learning. There's always expansion, exploration, upliftment, transformation, challenges, opportunities, all these sort of things. The difference is, though, in a conscious relationship, a mature relationship, is both partners understand it's part of the package, part of the process, it's part of the journey. And so my feeling is this is something... Let's see if I balance this a bit better so I can use both hands. I feel I'm a bit limited. Whoops. I feel a bit limited because I want to use both hands to express... I'm not Italian, but I feel like I am. You know what? Forget it. I'll just do the one hand. I have to hold the, the tripod steady with the other hand. So I'm one-handed talks today. So, um, I'll say this clearly. A 
fixer-upper in relationship context is somebody who has need to be improved. Not necessarily just a paradigm of learning to be better, but actually a um, lack of willingness to grow, to change, to transform. And ladies, if you, in particular, if you are looking to date somebody and they are a fixer-upper, a man who's a fixer-upper, and so, well, let's use the, this illustration. This is from Alison Armstrong's work. She talks about how men go through stages of growth, the, the knight, the prince, the king. And a lot of men, regardless of their age, are not kings yet. They're at a level of development where they're still very um, immature and have a long way to go. They're a work in progress, and they may not even be started yet. And ladies, you don't want to be in a relationship with a man who is not even on the board yet, not started, not doing anything, because you'll end up nur- um, I'll say nursing him. That's an interesting choice. You'll actually end up becoming more of a nursemaid and a mother to him, which is not what you want in a healthy sexual relationship. Too many, pe- too many issues with parent-child relationship. Don't, don't need that on top of that. So seriously, take it from me, if you will. Choosing relationships that are conscious, choosing relationships that are growing, choosing relationship partners that are at least the same level you are at, so that you both can meet eye to eye and grow together, that's the way of doing it in a healthy way because it puts less pressure on you to carry the weight for both of you. Because if you are having a fixer-upper, you take responsibility for yourself and your partner, and they're not doing that as well, as at a balance. So... I think you got my point. I'm going to make this fairly short because I want to get back in and there's more food to grab and dessert. So I'm going to go back to the party. But I want to give you this talk now before it got too late so I can be in integrity with my agreement but also to, to drop this little insight into your lap. So with that, I think you got my point. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please point below and I'll respond when I sign off. This is my daily Facebook Live that goes onto YouTube and onto my iTunes, onto my podcast. I'll give you the links for that in a moment. I will put the link in the comments later on well, but by the time you watch this, probably will be in there. Which is, um, if you want to reach out for a discovery session with me, if you're challenged about relationships, you want to get more help, I'll leave a link in the comments. You can sign up for a discovery session with me. Um, so replays. This is a Facebook Live. Initially, it goes onto my personal. It's on my personal page first, which is Barry Selby on Facebook. Then it goes into my business page, which is Barry Selby author on Facebook. I then put it onto my YouTube library, which is also called Barry Selby. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. And there's a playlist in there called Messages from the Masculine where this will live with all the other ones. You can listen to all and watch them all there. And I'm rolling out my podcast slowly but surely, adding them to that, which is also called Messages from the Masculine on iTunes. Subscribe to that and watch the replays there. Or listen to them, rather. Um, yeah, all my social media is my name, which is Barry Selby. My website is barryselby.com. And I'll verbally give you the link for a discovery session, which is barryselby.com forward slash chat. Easy to remember. Um, I think that's it. I'm actually going to sign off because I want to go eat. And I'm going to give this to you first. So thank you for watching. In case any questions, comments, please send them to me below. You can reach out to me for help, social media, or fill out that um, discovery session form. And uh, that's it. I'll see you again tomorrow. It'll be early again tomorrow because I've got a commitment to be somewhere at 5 o'clock. So I won't be doing this then. But I will see you then. Take care of yourselves and have a wonderful... If, I don't, if you don't, we don't see each other in some other way before then, have a wonderful Christmas. Enjoy Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.